Welcome, everyone, to The Everything Show, episode 744. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212 and I'm with Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Hi. What's up, guys? All right, so it's the three-year anniversary of The Everything Show. This is part three, okay, and Daniel's got some Star Trek discovery news. Well, apparently, it turns out that the designs are not definite, and they could change this, which, I don't know, I don't like this idea. I like the design the way it is, you know? I don't want it to change. Okay, so I think before it's- everybody loses their kerplois, okay, just chill out because, you know, the designs may change or they may not change, okay? We don't know yet. It's going to be a lot happening from now till January, so... Uh, anything is possible, but uh, I saw your thing, Daniel. We did talk about the box office numbers the other day about Star Trek Beyond, but I will continue and show what it is doing as of today because uh, mm-hmm. I know you guys are interested, and I know Daniel is definitely interested. So basically, Star Trek Beyond, where we sit right now, and I'm going to screen share this, Okay. So here we go. Okay, Star Trek Beyond right now domestically is 65,505,274, okay? Uh, The worldwide gross is 95,505,274, not making back the budget yet. Only $30 million was made in foreign markets. Uh, And as it stands here, um, I don't think it's been released overseas everywhere so i'm gonna have to research that but the numbers are going down but hopefully we get a jump in the foreign markets and i'm gonna i'm just gonna show you into darkness for a second um just to show let me just look up this way and then we're gonna go into darkness okay so if you remember into darkness had 238 million in foreign markets okay yeah so so right now it's nowhere near that. I mean, we have it only making $30 million. So I have to really look at these um, demographics, and I have to see where it's going to be opening and when is it going to be finished. We're releasing everywhere overseas because overseas, it, it will make a killing. Uh, it still could make money here. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay. And we are joined by Sally. What's up, Sally? What's up? All right. We're in the Everything Show three-year anniversary, part three. Yay! Yay. So what I want to talk about is this whole Constantine thing. Did you hear about that, Sally? No, I haven't heard anything. Okay. Supposedly, you know, people going back and forth, like, thinking that CW is going to somehow bring Constantine back. Those articles are false at at this time. There is no... They're not bringing it back yet, but they are having the actor voice Constantine for a for a um, animated um, movie, I believe. So uh, I'm going to get the article there so I could show it to you guys. I think it's called Justice League Dark. Okay, I so, heard something about it that they were doing some kind of thing with it. Yeah, so. Let's see here. J- Justice League Dark is the next animated feature from DC. Uh, Matt Ryan is Constantine. So let me just see what's going on with that. I see, I thought he's going to be on Legends of Tomorrow too, but maybe I was wrong. I was hearing that too. Um, let's see what it says about him. Okay, so. When is this coming in? Just a sleep jar. Hmm. Trying to see. It doesn't really say when it's going to be out, but this is the next one. So, hopefully, we'll have some more information to give you guys as it becomes available. And we'll see. All right. And we are joined by Scott. What's up, Scott? Just sitting here wasting time. All right, so let me just screen share the Justice League Dark for you guys. So there it is. Constantine's back. 
yeah. injusticely dark. So that's pretty cool. And I yeah, started isn't a good joke yet, so that I got to check out. So there we have it. That's pretty good. Yeah. And what is that coming out again? I forget. We don't know. Okay. Let's say the truth. Um, and we have, let's see, AMC uh, re renewed turn for a fourth and final season. Um, okay. Lenny James joins the Blade Runner sequel. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it of that. You guys have anything you want to share? Anything at all? No. Uh, you gonna go see any movies this weekend? No, just uh, like I said, I just saw Beyond. So, uh, like I said, that was uh, that was good and decent. That's pretty. Now, cool. Scream is on tonight. That would be. How, how do you like that? Uh, have you been watching it, Sally? Yeah, I love it so far. I really like it too, man. I love that show. I just I don't want it to end really. But I mean, I don't want it to like end the season. I know they had some rough times changing the time slot and making it later and changing the days and everything. It's not I wasn't making it later because of the content, though. No, it's the ratings that drops. Okay. All yeah, right. but I'm just hoping we get at least one more season. Yeah. Um, you know, they did kind of drag things out a little bit where it was like episodes before anybody really knew anybody was dead. Uh, this season, it wasn't like you know everybody's dying every other episode, but I still liked the. It was more character driven. I thought this season for Scream. Um, yeah, for me, it seems like it's harder to figure out who it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's the thing: I it can't be the guy that does the podcast. Noah. Yeah, it can't be Noah because that that would make no sense. Uh, Audrey can't be either, right? Not uh, at all. I don't, I don't know. So. Uh, I mean, unless they make. I mean, they made it like anyone could be it. So. Uh. So what's the girl's name? Emily? Is it Emily? The blonde. No, the um, the hero really. The one's the main one. Emma. 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 Thank you. Emma, definitely is is not the killer this time. <laughs> it's got to be like. It's, it's gotta be I still think it's the kid with the mask but you know that's trying to be friends with the uh, oh okay uh, uh, the police the police officer son yeah I still think that's it's him but see I don't think it is because I think that'd be too obvious there's the red herring right there maybe that's what they're doing is they're making okay this guy's gonna be too obvious so why pick him I mean, what do we got? Like four episodes left? Three or four, yeah. Isn't it? Maybe it's um, it's not Kieran. I don't think so. It's got to be know. a stupid half brother thing, whatever that guy did. He's the bad guy, I think. He's the killer. I mean, they could make it, you know, like they did in the first screen movie and have the two guys. I think Noah's girlfriend is one of the killers. I think she is because it was too weird how she just got into the group, really. Yeah. You know, like friendly and everything. I think she was close with Piper. Maybe they had something because he was like, Where were you last? You know, what mm -hmm. was going on? So she was lying through her teeth right away. Oh, yeah. So she's probably the I killer. got my eye on her. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So I, I think um, of the original group, I think someone's going to die very soon. You know? Yeah, someone's got to die. <laughs> I think Kieran's going to die, too. So I think the girl's going to die that uh, was going out with Jake. She's going okay. to be dead, I think. Or they could do a crazy thing, and they should ki they could kill Emma, and then make her the lead next year. I don't know. Somebody big's going to die, though. You know, Audrey may die too. Never know. They could kill her off. I don't think they will, but like certain people, I don't think they could kill off. But so 
besides that, we got we were talking about David Tennant returning as a doctor and uh, I, I saw yeah, that. oh, that's, that's great. That one I definitely would tune in for. That should be interesting. God, why can't we get David Tennant for like freaking episodes or something or crossover or something? That'd be great. That'd be that we can. I know. All right, gang, that's it for the episode. I'm waiting for Chris because we're gonna talk about Shingo Jia. Oh. We're gonna talk about that later in Kong. Stuff. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, like I said, I saw that trailer and that end scene. That was literally the money shot right there. Yeah, I, I that is going to be explosive, Kong, when it comes out. I think people are going to go. I'm I'm really hoping that Shin Gojira Godzilla resurgence. Yeah. Yeah. Stop everybody using resurgent word, okay? But anyway, um, I really hope that that does well. We're not going to get it until I guess. Uh, late release of 2016. So, all right, that's going to be it for this episode. Take care. Bye for now.